Yo, tell me why I recently did a poll and most people don't think that 2023 AI can make video games. No, 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 seriously. Carrier pigeon me a letter and explain to me why. AI can already generate textures and sprites and speech and music and text. Why would anyone think that it wouldn't be possible to mix all these things together to make an AI generated game? I mean, to be fair, they might have a point because the only thing that AI can't do at the moment is generate code. Oh. On November 30th, 2022, OpenAI released a new chatbot trained on 40 terabytes of data. And just to put that impossible to grasp number into perspective, one of the largest video games there is, is Red Dead Redemption 2 at 150 gigabytes. OpenAI's new chatbot was trained on data the size of 266 Red Dead Redemption 2s. I want you to imagine any game or app that uses the power of 266 Red Dead Redemption 2s. My. Yeah. This is the final piece of the puzzle that AI needs to be able to generate a game all on its own with no human input. OpenAI's new chatbot can do all types of impressive things, from giving creative ideas to even writing code. Hell, even the main page suggests that you ask it to write some code. Today, we're going to make the best game possible completely generated by an AI algorithm. I am very excited to find out what one of the world's first AI generated games will be like. However, however. We have a bit of an issue. Making AI generated games isn't as easy as like inputting text into Dolly, for example. There are no text to video game AIs yet. And so we're gonna throw up our sleeves and get a little dirty. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I shouldn't have to do anything for this project other than just like put it all together. But I've never asked an AI to make a game before. I'm not entirely sure what to expect. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just learn a bit more about AI generated code. I started off light. I asked the AI to generate some simple Python code and I kid you not, in 40 minutes, I made five Python games. I made Flappy Bird, Minesweeper, Star Fox 64, NBA 2K, and Fortnite. <laughs> All right, none of these games were that impressive on their own, but at the fact that simply writing a sentence or two in instructions, the AI was able to make compilable games with things like projectiles, multiple objects, score trackers, and even end screens. Mind you, I did not write a single line of code here, but I didn't really feel the effects of what I was doing until I started my final test project. Behold, a Unity 3D project. And when I played this, I finally felt like I was witnessing history in the making. I am very impressed with how far AI has come. If any of you have been following my channel for a while, then I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. But anywho, let's make this AI generated game. But we can't do that without first an AI generated game idea. And this was very simple. All I had to do is keep asking the AI to generate game ideas. And eventually it gave me a banger. Okay. now. Now, that is a good idea. A game where you play as a rocket trying to land on difficult terrain. Knowing what I know about AI generated games, this is this sounds perfect. All right, so now we have our AI generated game idea. Now what? Well, now we're gonna need some art. And for my test, I think it's in our best interest to make this game as 2D as possible. For now, let's not even entertain the idea of AI generating 3D, all right? I started off by heading over to an AI image generator and asking it to generate a cool background. And after a few tries, I found a background that looked like it fit in a video game. And then I did the same exact thing to find a rocket sprite. And after a little collecting, I picked this one as the rocket that felt the best. And now we have everything we need to get started coding. All right. Let's get this Bakasha. I need the AI to make a script for the rocket with all the physics, controls, and all that. And so I described the script to it with as much detail as possible, and this is what it spit out. And color me surprised, because it works pretty damn well. I then added a game over state, which, again, it works much better than I thought it would. And then I ran into a lot of issues with the terrain script. I first asked it to make a 2D terrain, and it did that. And it actually worked, but on the wrong axes. Wrong axes equals rendering problems. And so I then asked it to try again, but on the X and Y axes. And again, it did it. But this time I was running into collision issues. But I mean, this solution could have worked well enough if I was able to add depth to the mesh. But no matter what I told the AI, it just couldn't understand what I was asking it to do. And I gotta say, I was really afraid here. I was unsure if I was gonna be able to complete this historic project, but then I had to take a step back and think simpler. And that is when I came up with a great idea. And so I just ended up asking it to generate a bunch of random cubes with a bunch of random rotations. And honestly, that worked well enough, so I just ran with it. And then I added particles, a reset state, a couple of UI elements, a little score for the polish. And by the way, this was all coded and added by AI itself. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and now it's time for the hard part. AI generated music and sounds. 
So I've heard through the grapevine that there are a couple of sites that can make AI generated music and sounds, but I've never tried them. And so I started off checking some of them out. Most of them were arguably not even AI generated, but the final one I came across was an interesting offering, mellowbytes.com. All right, and just generate this song. Let's see what we got. Certified absolute banger. All right, so we got graphics, code, music, sound. This AI generated game is now completed. And here is how the game plays. Essentially, you just have this rocket ship here and you just want to land on, you just want to land on the terrain without coming in. Uh, you just want to land on the terrain without coming in too fast of a velocity like this. Like this. Ah. Like this. Watch. Ah, like this. Like that. And once you land, you get a score and you hit enter to hit get a new score. Oh, I'm too good. I'm too good. We got a score of two. Ah. The yellow thing on the left, it shows you the velocity that your ship has. And then at the bottom, we have the angle indicator. If you go off of the graphic, then you lost. A simple, easy game. I didn't code anything, which is insane to say. I didn't do any graphics either. I did nothing. I didn't do any music, no sound. What a time we're living in. All that is left now is just to ask the AI to generate the remaining content needed to make a game page. And then we can finally get some opinion on this. I described this game to an AI and asked it to generate a game name. And Orbital Oops was just too good to pass up. And so I ran with it. I asked the AI to make a polished game description for the page. I then used the game description plus game name to generate a game cover. Here were the top three candidates, but this one in the end was the winner. And finally, the game page was completed. All that was left was to post the socials about this game without telling them it was made by AI so that I can get some honest reviews. It could use a bit more polishing, but I could see this being an addictive mobile game. I think that's plus one for the AI. Nice game. Cute little game. Relatively functional. Assuming it was created entirely by gluing AI code together. Uh oh, wait a second. You're onto a shock. If the whole thing was created by AI without any modifications, this is spectacular. If a person made it, it'd be a very interesting first attempt at a game. Also, loving the music. Definitely a highlight. I don't know, man. I'm a little conflicted. I like the physics a lot, though. Great game. I, AI coded the physics. Out of all those reviews, only one of them were like kind of hinting towards it might be AI. I think that's a win for the AI. I don't know about you. But I have one final test. It's a bit of a surprise. Check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the powerful David Jaffe. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've played Twisted Metal, God of War, or Drawn to Death, then you've played David Jaffe's work because he created these franchises. He's a legend in the gaming industry, and if there's any person to get an opinion on about this 100% AI made video game, it's him. I have no idea what this is. He's just like, hey, come play my game. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna get to play a new game. I'm excited. So I have no idea what I'm in for, but I, I'm, I love that. I'm assuming Spacebar is thrust. Okay. And then A and D, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing in this game. If I wasn't recording this video with you, I, I would be done. <laughs> Yo, real quick, I told David Jaffe to be as brutal as possible. I wanted the highest degree of honesty that he had to offer. And I also don't know what my goal is. I assume it's to land, but you don't really have the space marked very well. Ooh, you fuck. Now that's annoying as fuck. You have too much acceleration on your thrust. Uh -oh. you, you just have to sort of give the, you gotta hope you get lucky. F this game maybe i'll go down this hole here because it looks like i can okay what happened did i win don't you let me come out of that hole you didn't even bother to make the game down there you put a fucking hole there but you know what i bet does work the support this banger i bet that button works now let's let's see if that works yeah, you'll take people's money, won't you? Jesus <laughs> Christ. I've never seen your channel. It's like, this is a channel of a guy who quit his six-figure banking job to follow his dream of making games. Here's his first one. I'm like, oh, sh**. You did it. You did it. <laughs> What's the point of the art on the ground with all the jaggedy sh**? If I could have landed it anywhere. What's interesting is it does shine a light on no matter what level of game you're making, the sh** you as a developer get used to. And then when you put it in new people's hands and they're like, it's the most healthy and necessary and important part of making games or one of the most, which is the play testing, not focus testing, but play testing. But boy, it breaks your 
fucking heart because you're sitting there going it's so obvious to you is this guy an idiot because he's like he doesn't know what he's doing all right so david jaffe ended up tearing a little ai game up to shreds but at this moment he still thinks that a human developed this game and so i think now is the perfect time to reveal a twist to jaffe i told you there's a twist right <laughs> yeah is there a button that makes it good you have just critiqued the game that yep. was made 100 percent by artificial intelligence cool how does that make you feel i think it is brilliant looking at it from that perspective that is how games are going to get made more and more and more and more right the fact that you could do that and say make me a game that does x y and z is amazing ai eventually will be able to just say make me a great platformer and it'll take all the logic over the gajillions of data that it defines as a great platformer and you're going to have something much more compelling than this to play. I love it. I love that you made this. It's terrible, but it's kind of like criticizing a, a one-year-old who took his first steps and going, oh, Jesus Christ, you think you're going to be able to play football? Right. Walking the way you right. do, you right. moron? It's like, well, no, but it's one. So I love it. I love you showed me this. Thank you. Yo, super shouts to the powerful David Jaffe. He actually has his own YouTube channel talking about games from the perspective of being in the gaming industry for over 20 years. Thank you about it where else would you be able to get that perspective now look there are hundreds of games released a day but this one is the start of a revolution the hottest new coding language just actually might be english i ask that you take a look at my merch shelf under this video and i'm actually launching a manga slash comic book soon and if you want to get early access to this or check out anything i've just mentioned all links are in the description of course follow me on twitter and instagram and uh that's all from me i'm off to go learn how to play the bongos from a gorilla named